hello youtube welcome to a new video my name is abuze on today's video i'm going to show you guys how to color my original color so we are going to control j and duplicate and then we select the subject and background below and group it and then we can rename it our original image yes so uh now uh the very next thing that we are going to do is we are going to uh tweak the color of the background by selecting the background and then we go to adjustment and then we select hue and saturation so for the hue and saturation we are just going to uh change the uh to slightly change the color of the uh background by sell by tweaking the hue to like negative 20 minus 20 19 19 is okay before after before and after so the next thing we are going to touch here is the greens i don't usually like working with too much greens so i'm going to take the saturation down to negative 100 and then i'm going to darken it just a little to minus three is okay let's do it before after so the next thing that i'm going to do is we are going to add depth to the background we are going to add some blurry so that our subject will stand out so we are going to select our background layer and then go to filter blur and then go blur. just a little touch of it we are looking for somewhere between 3 to 3.5 is okay so let's just keep uh, keep it at 3.5 let's do it before after before and after we are okay like this so the next thing that i'm going to do now is i'm going to color balance our subject by quickly going to image and then we go to auto color and then we go to image again and then we go to auto tune so what happens uh using auto color and auto tunes is that these two options will kind of harmonize the color of the subject and the background let me quickly have a copy
after. So taking the image to this stage, let's group uh, everything we have done. And then we group command command open project and we can name it edited or oh, let's name it graded image uh, colored image so let's uncheck the uh, what we have done before after before and after if you like we can leave it like this but we can take the image to the next uh, next level by creating empty layer here and then we select our brush and then we sample this light that is splitting on the background oh, let's sample this particular one i think it's a bit all right let me pick this color and then we can use our normal brush and then paint it on the background normal brush so let's reduce the size of the brush a little so if we dab on it like this we can just go and reduce the opacity to negative 60 around 60 63 and then we can change the blind the blend mode to screen before and after i think we can add another one again but this time around we are going to change the color of the light to something like light green so that it will complement the greens on the background so we can as well brush over the green here and then we as well reduce it to opacity like negative 50 to 60 okay let's leave it 49 and then we change the blend mode to screen so let's do before and after let's group the light as well and then we can name them extra light so let's do before we apply the lights and then after we apply the lights as you can see it's kind of blend with the background and then it's create kind of split light around her body which makes uh, the light look kind of realistic let me do it before as you can see and then after so let's do the uh overall before and after this is where the image was and then this is where we took the image so let me group these layers we used to edit the image and then then final image so if we uncheck you see from where we applied the background and then here is the process we took to color grade and blend the image to make it look kind of realistic so that is it for today's video if you like the video please hit subscribe and hit the like button make sure to turn on post notifications so that you won't miss miss my next video